Hello guys, today I'm very excited to start a new experiment on this channel, the video where you will participate. So a little bit of backstory. The biggest problem in education, any education, coding or any others, is lack of practice. So you have some content, some courses where just you passively consume it and until you actually practice that thing, the value of that content is pretty low. And some online courses do some quizzes or recaps at the end of the modules, at the end of the content, which is fine, but the biggest value comes from real, real practice. So why don't we practice? So here's an experiment. Quite recently, I've launched this video on my YouTube channel about route model binding, which was pretty popular, and it was also my content to you guys without any practice. You just consume it, you read about it, and okay, you kind of learned. But let's try to challenge you. So I've created this demo project with a public repository about route model binding where I intentionally left three errors. All those errors are related to route model binding, so I forgot a thing or two here, made some typos, and things don't work. So when you launch that project, the home page works, but if you click view, you will get some error that something does not exist. So this is for you to fix. So there are three tasks in this repository, explained, quite a lot of details. So this is the home page then rules how to perform the tasks. I will get to that in a minute. And then the first task, this error, this is the expected result that you need to fix. Task two, export, another error on another button. You need to fix that as well. And this is the expected page to be loaded after the fix. And then task three is around duplication. So here you have UUID as a parameter and another error. And also this is for you to fix. And how should you fix that? Of course, you should clone the project locally. It's public and install it. Here's the general installation instruction. It's pretty typical for any Laravel project. And then you should make a pull request with the fixes. So here are the rules, but in a nutshell, I will rephrase it that you do pull request as a submission to any open source repository, like you would contribute to some package or some open source readme file or whatever. If you don't know how to do that, here's the link to my video with instructions how to contribute to any open source projects. And basically, I will expect pull requests from you guys. You may add some comments in that pull request for me to read, or maybe you can perform some of the fixes, don't know. I don't know how many pull requests I should expect, so I don't know how much I can promise to review or to comment. So we will see. This is an experiment, as I said, the first challenge. If that takes off and if that resonates with you guys, I will do more challenges. But for now, let's start with this one and let's see how it goes. Another question, open question to you guys, how should I get the results to you? So what are the options? Separate video in like three or five days time. And how much time should I give you? That's also an open question. So another video is an option discussing the pull request. Another option is just accepting one of the pull requests as a winner. So by default, I will not merge the pull request, but maybe I will choose one of you as an example. Or I may just leave the comment below, the pinned comment on this YouTube channel, on this YouTube video about the winner and the comments. But not sure how much it is convenient to you. What should you subscribe and how should you get notified about this challenge being finished? Probably a separate video is the best option, but shoot in the comments below what do you prefer and what do you suggest? For now, go read, go clone the project, go practice. Good luck and see you guys in other videos.